kids and I am so excited to be back with you today. So tell me, how was your week? If you had a great week on the count of three, I want you to put your thumbs up. If you had a not so great week, give me a thumbs down. If you had a okay week, give me a sideways thumb. Are you ready? One, two, three. I had a great week and some of you had a great week, but it looks like some of you maybe had not such a great week. And to be honest, one of the greatest things I miss about not being able to gather at church together is hearing about each other's week, about the good things that happen and the not so good things that happen. But I hope that this pre-service video had a chance for you to get up, to laugh, to loosen up a little bit as we dive in to week 31 of SCF Kids Online. Let's go. Do you guys want to know something interesting about me that you probably didn't already know? I can touch my nose with my tongue. Do you want to see? Thought you would. Pretty talented, right? Can any of you guys do it? Give it a try. Some of you can do it. Nice. 
Have you guys ever heard of Ripley's Believe It or Not? Some of you maybe didn't believe that I could actually touch my nose with my tongue, but then I showed it to you and you could believe it's true. Some of the things from Ripley's Believe It or Not, they, they're actually true and sometimes they're hard to believe. I have a piece of paper here that's got some of them written down. Like, it's impossible to lick your elbow with your tongue. You don't believe me? Give it a try. <laughs> I mean, I have a really long tongue, but I'm not getting my elbow. How about this? A crocodile cannot stick out its tongue. Interesting fact. A shrimp's heart is actually in its head. Another interesting fact. Okay, so like fingerprints, everybody's tongue print is different. I did not know that either. Did you know that rubber bands last longer when refrigerated? Can't say I have any rubber bands in my refrigerator. Did you know that a shark is the only known fish that can blink both eyes? How they know this stuff, crazy. Did you know that a cat has 32 muscles in just one ear? Or that an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain? These are interesting. Tiger stripes are not just on their fur, but it's also on their skin. Or the fact that a dime has 118 ridges around the edge. And last but not least, I know this to be true, because this is me every night when I go to bed, that most people fall asleep within seven minutes. Crazy, right? Some of those things on that list maybe were a bit hard to believe, but they're all true facts. And our story today, it had a piece that was a bit hard to believe as well. And I want you to watch it and see if you can find out what it was. God was with his people as they entered the promised land. Joshua and the Israelites had defeated the cities of Jericho and Ai. They made peace with their neighbors, the people of Gibeon. One day, the Israelites came to a place ruled by five kings. The kings did not love God or worship him. They had heard about God's people and were afraid. One king called to the other four kings in the land. He said to them, help me attack Gibeon because it has made peace with Joshua and the people of Israel. So the five kings joined forces and went up with all their armies to fight against Gibeon. The men of Gibeon sent a message to Joshua, help us, save us, all the kings who live in this land are fighting against us. So Joshua and his whole army went to Gibeon to help them. The Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid of the kings for I have handed them over to you. Not one of them will be able to stand against you. Joshua and his army marched all night from where they were staying, and they surprised the five kings' armies. As the Israelites fought, God confused the kings' armies and helped Israel defeat their enemies. The five kings' armies fled. The Lord sent hail from the sky to stop them. The battle was not over. Joshua needed more time to fight before the sun went down. So Joshua prayed to God, sun stand still over Gibeon and moon over the valley. The sun stood still and the moon stopped until Israel and Gibeon defeated the kings. The sun did not set for almost a full day. There has been no day like it before or since. As the Israelites traveled in the promised land, they took over many other cities. God fought for his people and helped Joshua and the Israelites conquer the land God had promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God gave the Israelites peace and rest from their enemies for many years. When Joshua was old, he reminded the Israelites about all the great things God had done for them. The people said, we will worship the Lord because he is our God. Then Joshua died. Joshua's name means the Lord is salvation. God fought for Joshua and the Israelites, saving them and giving them victory over their enemies. Sinners can look to God for victory over sin and death. God brought us salvation by sending his son, Jesus, to die on the cross and rise again. What 
An incredible story, you guys. I mean, God's people needed his help to defeat their enemies. And God came through in a spectacular, I mean, we could say an unbelievable way, right? God made the sun stand still for almost an entire day. It is so amazing to see God's faithfulness in each and every story, every week as we gather together for SCF Kids Online. Each week, there's a story of God's faithfulness. And this is another story. God's people needed to trust that God was with them, that God was gonna defeat their enemies because God deserved all the glory. It wasn't because of the Israelites that they won the victory, but it was because God was with them. And we remember our big picture question, which says, how can we glorify God? We glorify God by loving him and obeying him. So the Israelites in our story today, they loved God and they obeyed his commands and God gave them the victory. Pretty cool, right? Now, that doesn't mean that the Israelites weren't scared, uncertain, or afraid. They absolutely were. And if we're being honest, sometimes we're scared and sometimes we're uncertain or afraid. But Pastor Brian is gonna share with us for a couple minutes about how we don't have to be afraid, how God gives us peace. Check this out. Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian and it's time for questions from kids. Noah from Waco, Texas asks, I have to start a new school next week. I'm really worried about what my teachers will be like and making new friends. How can I feel at peace? Noah, that's a really challenging situation. You know, when I was a kid, I moved around some too and I had to start new school. So I know that can be intimidating. But here's the thing, you have the answer in the last question. How can you have peace? And we know that peace comes from God that God cares about you, He loves you, and He's with you, and He knows exactly what you're going through. And so we know that when we trust in Jesus, when we follow Him, one of the things that He gives us is peace in our life, that we can handle any circumstance, even if it's challenging, even if it's difficult, like starting a new school, getting to know your teachers, and making new friends. Here's the other thing, though. Don't forget that God is in control that nothing you're gonna experience is outside of God's awareness and His control. He's a good God, and remember everything He does, even sending us to a new school, is done for His glory and our good. So what are some things that you can do to remind yourself that God is in control? Okay, kids, so Jenna asked me to join you today because, well, she told me you were talking about that story from the Old Testament where God made me stand still for almost an entire day. It was great. Um, anyway, so she thought, who better to ask to teach you your memory verse today than me? But before I get ahead of myself, I thought I should introduce myself as well. My last name is Shine and first name is Sun, so most people just call me Sunshine. Um, anyways, uh, yeah. Say, do you guys want to be mini Sunshines today? Because I'm going to need some help for this memory verse game. So here's how it's going to go. There's going to be a crazy twirling sun on your screen. And as it's on your screen, I'm going to get you to spin as fast as you can. And when I say, sun stand still, you are gonna stop in your tracks and you're gonna read the verse on your screen, but the trick is you're gonna be dizzy because you were spinning oh so fast, just like the sun spinning around the earth. Make sense? All right, let's give it a try. In three, two, one, spin. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Sun stand still. Okay, stop in your tracks and let's read it together. One, two, three. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. 
Deuteronomy 31, 8. Okay, uh, you're probably not even not dizzy. That was hard to say. Uh, but here we go again in three, two, one, spin! Never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my All right, it's time to read it again. Here we go. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Deuteronomy 31, 8. Okay, and spin. Shine away the other night there while I was sleeping. I dreamed I held you. Stand still. Are you guys absolutely dizzy yet? Here we go. Read it for a third time with me. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Deuteronomy 31, 8. Okay, just when you think you're about to give up, let's go for one more spin. Ready, set, spin! You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Sun stands still. Okay, freeze in your tracks. Let's read it one last time together. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Deuteronomy 31, 8. Well, you guys can take a seat because I'm sure you're pretty dizzy from all of that spinning. But what do you say? Was it a little bit tricky trying to, to read the verse while your head is kind of spinning all around? Well, I'm so glad that Jenna invited me today to help you memorize your memory verse. But it is time for me to go. And uh, don't forget, you are my sunshines. God made the sun stand still and gave the Israelites victory over their enemies. I can't say that enough today. The Bible is full of reminders of God's great power. And this is another one. The same God who was with Joshua and the Israelites is the same God who's with us today. God doesn't change. So if the Israelites didn't need to be afraid or discouraged or uncertain, that same God encourages us with his great power that we don't have to be afraid. And I want to sing a couple worship songs with you today that remind us that we do not need to be afraid because God is with us.
curious. How many of you like it when it rains? We're gonna have a little pretend rainstorm here. Um, if I'm completely honest, I don't really like the rain. I don't like being outside when it's raining and your hair gets all wet and frizzy and you're just cold and damp and not for me. The only time, I repeat, the only time that being in the rain is fun is when I'm dancing in the rain with my daughter. Then it's fun. Otherwise, not so much. So in our Bible story today, there wasn't just rain that was coming down on the Israelites' enemies. There was actually giant chunks of hail. Yeah. Uh, rain's one thing, but giant pieces of hail tinging off your head, totally different thing. Um, so God provided for the Israelites and helped them win the battle by some crazy creative ways. He made the sun stand still, he had giant hail, and I'm sure they're bigger than these pieces of hail that I have here. So remember last week we talked about how creative God is? Yep, God's creativity was at work again this week. Um, but bottom line is God was with the Israelites, they obeyed him, which glorified God, and he gave them victory over their enemies. Let's pray. God, thank you for loving us more than we can ever imagine. Thank you for going ahead of us in difficult circumstances. Help us to always love you and obey you so that others can see you working in our lives. And thank you, most of all, for sending your son, Jesus, to win the victory over our sin. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.